Hello everyone, welcome back to Abhigyan Academy. I am your friend Nishta and in this session, we are going to discuss and understand the examination pattern of the Central Armed Police Forces Assistant Commandant Examination. So first of all, let me tell you what are the topics we are going to cover in this particular session. First, we will discuss the overview of the examination and then the scheme for the examination. We will discuss how many number of papers are there in the Central Armed Police Forces Assistant Commandant exam and then we will discuss the marking scheme. We will end up with the important instructions that you need to follow to clear for this exam. So Central Armed Police Force exam is a national level exam which is organized by UPSC or Union Public Service Commission and this exam happens once a year in offline mode. It is for the recruitment of the assistant commandants who come in Group A services like BSF or Border Security Force, CRPF or Central Reserve Police Force, CISF or Central Industrial Security Force, ITBP or Indo-Tibetan Border Force, and SSP that is Shashastra Seema Bal. Now let's discuss the scheme for this Central Armed Police Force exam. So first of all, let me tell you that this exam is conducted in three phases. The first phase is the written examination. The second phase is a physical efficiency test. And the third phase is the personality test or you can say the interview round. The candidates who qualify for the written examination will be called for the physical standards or physical efficiency or you can say the medical standards test. Candidates who are qualified in the medical standard test they will be called for an interview or the personality test. So, talking about the written examinations, there will be two papers. Paper 1 will be conducted from 10 o'clock a.m. to 12 p.m., which is for two hours, and the total marks allotted to paper 1 is 250. Talking about paper 2, the time for paper 2 is from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. It is a three hour test, and the marks allotted for paper 2 is 200. So the total duration for the examination is 5 hours and the total marks for both papers, that is paper 1 and paper 2 is 450. Now let's discuss each paper one by one. So talking about paper 1 which is of general ability and intelligence test. It is divided into 6 sections. The first subject is general mental ability. In this, the questions are from logical reasoning and quantitative aptitude including numerical ability and data interpretation. The second subject is the general sciences. It includes all your subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, biotechnology, and environmental sciences. All the questions from the general awareness section will be asked in this particular section. The next subject is current events of national and international importance. Topics covered under this will be from culture, music, arts, literature, sports, governance, which are in news. The next subject will be Indian polity and economy. These subjects test the candidate's knowledge of the country's political system and political scenario, especially the constitution of India. There will also be questions from the history of India, which will include areas of the growth of nationalism, freedom movement. Questions will also be asked from Indian and world geography. So all these subjects comes under the first paper of general ability and intelligence. The maximum marks allotted for this paper are 250. Paper 1 is an objective type paper and paper 2 is a subjective type. So in paper 1, there will be MCQ type questions and in paper 2, there will be subjective questions. Now let's move ahead with paper 2. In paper 2 there will be questions on debate writing, report writing, comprehension, precise writing and other communication and language skills. Here you need to write the answers not in the OMR sheet but in the answer sheet that will be provided in the examination hall. Paper 2 is further divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A is for the essay. There will be a total of six options given to you, out of which you need to attempt any four essays. Total marks allotted for essay writing is 80, which means 20 marks are allotted to each essay. Now coming to part B. This part is further divided into five parts. First, 
There will be two questions from argument writing where you have to write for and against on the given topic. It will be for 40 marks. Then there will be two questions for report writing, which will be of 20 marks again. There will be one question for precise writing, which will be 15 marks. There will also be one passage of five questions. It will be a subjective comprehension and it will be of 20 marks. Moving ahead, next is the grammar section. In the grammar, there will be 20 questions and they will be of 25 marks. There will be a total of 34 questions in paper 2. The maximum marks allotted for paper 2 is 200. Now coming to the marking scheme for this examination. So as you already know, in the paper 1 general ability and intelligence test, there will be a total of 250 marks. But there will be 125 questions which will be in the form of MCQs or multiple choice questions. So for each correct answer, you will get two marks. There is also negative marking as well, which is one third of the marks allotted to each question. Now coming to the second paper, there is a total of 34 questions that we have already discussed which are of 200 marks. There is no negative marking in this subjective type of paper. When we club together both the papers, the total number of questions will be 159 and the total marks would be 400. Now, it's time for some important instructions. The paper consists of objective and subjective type questions. The questions in paper 1 and paper 2 will be bilingual that is, in English as well as in Hindi. In case of the paper to the candidates will be allowed the option of writing the essays in English or Hindi. But the medium of the precise writing, comprehension components and other communication and language skills questions will be in English only. There will be minimum qualifying marks separately for each paper. Paper 1 will be evaluated first and evaluation of paper 2 will be done only for those candidates who obtain minimum qualifying marks in paper 1. So first of all you'll have to qualify for paper 1. Then only your paper 2 will be evaluated. So this is all about the examination pattern for the Central Armed Police Forces Assistant Commandant exam. Yeah, I would like to mention about the upcoming combined crash course of Abhigyan Academy for this exam CDS 2 2023, starting from 1st April, which is designed in a way keeping in mind the needs of the aspirants. Here you will get complete guidance that you need for your preparation. One-on-one -on -one mentorship, doubt clearing sessions, sectional and weekly mock tests, daily meditation sessions and lifetime membership. So, call now on the number given below that is 9540504779 or you can also visit our institute which is in Guwahati Club for more information. All the best. Stay motivated. Jai Hind.